Yo, what's goody YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So, January 28th, same night that we got that Leo Santa Cruz and um, at, uh, Carl Frampton card, you know what I mean, on Showtime. Well, HBO got their own card, you know what I mean? And this fight right here is for the um, super featherweight title that Francisco Vargas holds. You know, Francisco Vargas is a guy 23 and 0 and 2 KOs. 23 and 0, excuse me, with two draws, 17 KOs versus Miguel Burchard, the guy who was 30 and one with 27 KOs, you know. Now, Miguel Burchard's a guy who I've been waiting to see on the world stage for a little while now, you know. The man's been a mandatory for guys like Roman Martinez. Roman Martinez ducked the guy when he was holding that WBO um, super featherweight title, all right? Even guys like Lomachenko, this guy Miguel Burchard's been his mandatory ever since um, Lomachenko won that... Um, that super featherweight strap from Roman Martinez. But you hear no mention from Lomachenko's camp about fighting Miguel Burchard, and rightfully so, man. This guy right here is a dangerous guy with a dangerous punch, and this guy actually could beat a lot of guys at super featherweight, in my opinion. Now he gets his chance, and this is his chance to, um, to show and prove, you know. Francisco Vargas, of course, we know him, <laughs> you know. His last two fights have been candidates and actually been fights of the year, you know. That his last fight against Francisco uh no, what's his name? Um Orlando Salido. Great fight, great fight that they had and um it was called a draw. I actually had it, um what did I have it? Did I have I think I had Salido winning. But close by a close margin, but I wasn't mad at the draw, you know what I mean? And of course he fought the guy Takashi Miura, who was um the former WBC 130 pound title champion that um in a great fight, man. That fight right there was awesome. That was on the undercard of Miguel Cotto versus Canoli, you know what I mean? And Francisco Vargas, man, he came down from being knocked down with uh, two bruised eyes, man. That guy looked like he was beaten to a pulp, man. But he came back and knocked out the man, Francisco Takashi Mishiura, in a great fight, you know what I mean? So, you know, Francisco Vargas, he definitely has the experience, you know what I mean? He's also a guy who starched out, uh, what's his name? What's that guy's name? Um, what the fuck is his name? Um, damn, what the fuck is his name? Yeah, uh, it's the Puerto Rican guy, man, who always, Juan Mar Lopez, you know what I mean? Excuse me for the little technical difficulties there, you know what I mean? But Miguel Burchard's a guy who doesn't quite have, uh, the great names on his resume like Francisco Vargas does. But trust me, Miguel Burchard, man, this could be his coming out party versus Francisco Vargas, you know what I mean? Ain't too much technicality and technical stuff you're going to see as far as boxing skills in this fight, you know what I mean? I think this fight going to be an all-out Mexican slugfest. Miguel Burchard will show tendencies to box, you know. Both guys are almost about the same height. 5'7 is uh, Miguel Burchard with a 71-inch reach versus Francisco Vargas, who's uh, 5'8 with a 70-inch 70, 70 reach. So like I said, they put pretty even as far as reach and height, you know. But the guy Miguel Burchard, man, <laughs> this guy's a serious puncher, man. This guy is last numerous fights, man. I could say his last six fights and above and beyond have not gone the distance. He's getting rid of fellas, you know what I mean? I forgot the name of that Thai guy, the Thailand dude that he fought. The guy was like 61-2 and two before he fought him. The guy, the Thai guy only had two losses in his career, one to Chris John and one to um, Vasil Lomachenko, and both guys went the distance with this with that particular Thai guy. I can't remember his name right now. I'm, I'm terrible with them Thai names, man. They so long and... Um, you know, but the guy Miguel Burchard, man, he knocked this guy out, man. He actually stopped the guy, I believe, in like four rounds, you know what I mean? So Miguel Burchard, man, like I said, he's probably going to be making his coming out party on um, HBO on the 28th. And, you know, when it comes to picking this fight, you know, it's really a 50-50 fight, you know. Francisco Vargas is also a guy who has definitely has a, a amateur pedigree, you know. He's a former Olympian for Mexico. A guy who definitely has the experience, but if, as you can see, as far as fights, the guy Miguel Burchard has more fights under his belt, you know? But, you know, this is going to be, like I said, an all-Mexican slugfest. Miguel Burchard will box in spurts, you know what I mean? But he's only going to box to set up shots so he can throw that right hand and definitely destroy this guy, Francisco Vargas. And I think that's what's going to happen, man. I think Miguel Burchard's going to win this fight on um, a stoppage, you know what I mean? That's my prediction. I think he's going to stop this guy. A 50-50 fight. I won't be surprised if Francisco Vargas can pull it off because he showed he got, 
He's he's a tough dude, man. He's a tough dude from that Takashi Miura fight, man. He she definitely proved, showed and proved why he is a guy to be favored in this fight and why he is a champion, you know. But I think this guy Miguel Bradshaw, man, is a hungry dude, man. He's been stiffed away, been stiffed from um the WBO uh, mandatories that he's rightfully should have have had against guys like Roman Martinez and um. Vasil Omachenko, well, he gets his WBC shot, so there's no use of crying over spilt milk. He has, he's even fighting now for a more prestigious belt, and I think the guy's going to get it done, man. I think he's going to have a stoppage, a late-round stoppage. Which rounds? I don't know. Maybe 9, 8, nine, but between 9 and 11, you know what I mean? Never know. Might be even 12, you know, but if the man Francisco Vargas... Uh, you know, keeps his, his composure and knows he's in there with a serious puncher and actually shows some good defense, good head movement. He could probably frustrate the guy Miguel Burchard and make Miguel Burchard do mistakes and eventually Miguel Burchard could get careless and could get caught, you know what I mean? His head movement isn't quite the best, you know, but I think his best defense is his offense and I think he'll get it done, man. I think we're going to have a new WBC champ at Super featherweight, 130 pounds, come January 28th on HBO out there from Indio, California. All right? Be Marsh Boxer. Let me know who you guys going to think going think to win this fight in this prediction, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. If you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe. If you like the vid, hit that thumbs up, and if you don't, you can hit the thumbs down too. Don't matter to me. All right? Be Marsh Boxer, and I'm going to catch you on the next vid. Peace.